the year at this time, Feeding Chittenden tries to make sure all families have a turkey and all the fixins for the holiday. NBC 5's Zuri Hoffman is live in Burlington and Zuri right now the food shelf is well short of this year's goal. Well, the goal last year was 3,500, but because the need is so great, they bumped it up another thousand this year. And now they're making the late push to get to 4,500 by Wednesday. Around the holidays, we want to make sure, you know, every family has a turkey and Thanksgiving sides on their table. This is always a busy time of the year here at Feeding Chittenden. Their goal this time is to donate 4,500 turkeys to local families in need. Right now, they have less than half that number. We're a little anxious, but I think um, this weekend, I think the community is really going to rally around us. Megan Frenzen and Jara Kaziki with the Queen City Saints have set up an event Sunday at the Enerville Center, designed to help feeding Chitton and reach its goal by getting at least 600 turkeys donated. There are hungry, hungry families and hungry children, and this is a pretty fun and an easy way to, to show up. Uh, for your community. Any donations help, no matter how big or small. Well, we donate every year, and my grandchildren are with me, and it's something that we've done for several years now. They're 12 and 10, and they decided that they would like another family to have the same food they have on Thanksgiving Day, so they make a list. Feeding Chittenden's doors will remain open this weekend, taking donations up until Wednesday for those in need to pick up their Thanksgiving meal. We are hoping that as people are going to the grocery stores to pick up meals for, for their own Thanksgiving holiday, that they can pick up an extra turkey, um, some extra mashed potatoes or stuffing, and stop by Feeding Chittenden. Now the group is also accepting cash donations in case people can't make it ahead of the holiday. We're live in Burlington, Zuri Hoffman, NBC5 News.